dragi gledatelji, dobrodošli u Finoj vino. Otišao sam do susjedstva, do Austrije, točnije do Južne Štajerske, koja je poznata po pitoresnim bržuljcima te vibrantim bijelim vinima. U idućim minutama pogledajte zašto je Štajerska važna na svjetskoj vinskoj mapi, što njihova vina čini osobitim i što je sve pridonijelo uspjehu vrijedne obitelji Sattlerhof. Uh, I grew up on this very uh, property, on this winery, uh, together with my family and together with my uncle's family who run the restaurant and the hotel. Uh, and we, we are bound very close to each other. We know each other from growing up together. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, experiences together and we, we kind of work in a very natural way together, which makes it interesting. And on the other hand, if you work together in a family, there can be some differences, there can be some uh, edges, uh, which is important and which is natural and which is good. Uh, and that is something that you can grow on. So everybody questions everything at any time. Uh, and if you question anything, you can grow from that. Uh, so we try to get the quality on the best level possible. Uh, so we, we work on that every single day. The, your property is not only uh, the winery, it's all the hotel and, and, and the restaurants, so it's a, it's a very nice story, yeah? Yes, yeah, so it's uh, one very old uh, Hof, that's how we call it. Uh, so it's a mixture of different uh, buildings. We have a, a tavern, we have a fine dine restaurant where you can eat very fine and delicate food. And uh, also we have the winery uh, and some agriculture around today again. So we have uh, 50 sheep. Uh, we have some chicken and we try to uh, take the animals and uh, use for the, for the restaurant as well. So it's one holistic uh, circular uh, that comes back at the end on your plate and on the table. So the region has a, a long tradition of winemaking. Uh, it goes back uh, hundreds of years uh, back in history. Uh, and we are here on small hills, so you can have two hills right next to each other with different soil, different exposition. You can have a vineyard facing to the south, to the west, to the east. Everything will make a little different style and a little different uh, wine quality. And uh, it's only small scale production. So there is no machine harvest. Uh, everything is done by hand in our region because it's steep hills. And that gives a basic quality from which every winemaker starts to produce wine. So, so my personal idea is to think global and act local. So we do sell most of our wines in the export. We work in 40 different countries all over the world. But then uh, when we come back on this very spot, we try to do our best to make it self-sustaining and nat naturally working. So we have all of our energy from solar power. Uh, we, have, uh, we heat everything with the forest that we work in. Uh, so we have a biomass uh, heating system uh, and we try to have the best uh, possible place for our employees and everybody who works in the estate. So we see it as one big family, as, as one organism that we try to build in the best uh, self-sustaining way. And that's to me something that can uh, lead to a better future in a small scale and maybe people start questioning what they do and uh, try to, to see how it, this is working. And, and that's for me a way to think global and act local. So Alex, uh, we are standing now in uh, Far Weingarten, uh, yes. your Grand Cru site. Yeah. What is so special about this, this place? Yes, so uh, Far Weingarten, uh, it has a very special meaning to our family and also to the region and the estate. Uh, it means the vineyard of the church, so it has been owned by the church since hundreds of years. Okay. And my grandfather was the one who took over from the church the winemaking part. So now we have around 50 years of tradition in producing wine on this very hill. Uh, it's a, a harsh limestone rock on the bottom of us. So you have an old coral reef that we are standing upon and there are around 50 year old wines uh, trying to find the way down into the rock. Uh, and that gives the wine a unique character. The basic is to have dead uh, agricultural compost yeah. and this needs to dissolve into the soil and then you get a healthy soil life. And that is the most important thing about uh, biodynamics and, and farming in a sustainable way to get a good humus and a good yeah, yeah. diversity in soil. Plus you get, you get happy sheep and happy chickens, right? Yeah, you get happy sheep, happy chicken, <laughs> and uh, you get a lot of different herbs in the vineyard. So it's not just grass, it's 
20, 30 different uh, herbs that grow in this area. Croatian audience, they don't realize that you have a connection with Croatia on a much deeper <laughs> level. <laughs> yeah. uh, your girlfriend uh, yes. has Croatian roots. Yes. Yeah. So how does so, that work? My, my girlfriend has the Croatian blood in her, so okay. uh, <laughs> I, I get the Croatian passion <laughs> from, my, from my girlfriend. Uh, and I, I can see that every single day and I'm, I'm uh, very happy about that. So, uh, yeah, to me it's, it's something refreshing, it's something uh, new, something that, uh, that I really enjoy. So but you I, certainly I, visit Croatia. I visit often. Croatia, like once every year I go to Croatia. Uh, I have my spots that I really enjoy most. And, uh, For example? Uh, <laughs> Yes, we, we try to go down uh, below Split uh, in this direction very much because I love the, the ocean very much and um, uh, some islands which are a little closer in the north, uh, that's like a weekend trip for us. Baš kao što i za mene bilo otići do Južne Štajerske, udaljene samo sat i po vremena od lijepili nam naše metropole. Obitelj Sattler zna jako dobro što radi. Njihovo prekrasno imanje primjer je od države proizvodnje domaće hrane i tevarskih vina u skladu s prirodom, koja mi sve to vraća najboljom mjerom.